Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. Really convenient location if you're looking to pick up a trailer. And we have a bunch of new and used trailers here available on the lot. So for our new brands, we carry our Cimarron's and our Logan's. This is actually a brand new Logan that I've got sitting behind me. But if you're looking for a used trailer, we do t accept trade-ins as well as buy trailers outright. So we have a wide variety of used trailers available as well. So <clears throat> this one right behind me is actually one that we've got here available. And people really, really like the setup on this stock combo here. So Logan does a stock combo that I think is one of the best in the business. I think that a lot of people really like the versatility of these Logan stock combos as well as their durability. A Logan is actually a galvanized steel frame trailer with aluminum sheeting. So what that aluminum sheeting does is it allows you to have the really, really strong frame of the galvanized steel, but then we go in and lighten it up with the aluminum. So it's not like pulling a really heavy old steel trailer around that maybe you had to get one of those for durability going down a lot of um, really rough roads or driving out to pasture. This is a really, really great option because that frame's gonna hold up really well. One of the things people are nervous about when they hear steel trailers is that they're worried about rust. But galvanized steel is actually not like black steel. We don't have the rust issues. They actually offer a limited lifetime warranty against any structural corrosion for that first owner um, because you're not gonna have those issues with rust that you would on a black steel. So <clears throat> anywhere you see that galvanized steel, you're gonna see this, right, this lining here. It's called their Vortex lining. And it's very similar to a bed liner that you would see on your truck. And you're gonna notice this <clears throat> on all the uprights, a lot of it in the stall area, and then they kind of do all underneath this front of this nose here. What's that gonna do is just like the bed liner in your truck, it's gonna help protect it. It's gonna help it keep it looking a lot better for years to come. It's gonna be really easy to clean. So you'll see this a lot of places. This is something Logan does. You see them on their bumper pulls and their goosenecks all the way up to their big living quarters. So underneath this trailer, this is a gooseneck. We've got our spare tire under here. These spare tires are the same as what we've got running on the ground. So you don't have to worry about like if you're driving a car, putting a, a smaller, uh, less substantial under tire under your trailer if you have any issues. We've got a big aluminum battery box that we upgraded to on this trailer. You can fit two good size uh, RV style batteries under there. An electric over hydraulic jack with a battery disconnect. This is something that we always add onto our electric over hydraulic jacks. That battery disconnect is a lifesaver. If you're <coughs> somewhere where maybe you're rushing around, maybe you've got a lot of people using your trailer, you wanna make sure that you have some juice on those batteries when you go to hook up next. You don't have time to make sure all, every single light is off, open every single door. This battery disconnect will cut power to your trailer so that you're not pulling a draw on those batteries when you're not using it. So that's a really nice little option. You just hit that right when you unhook and then you know that your battery is going to be nice and good to lift this truck up or this trailer up and put it on your truck when you go to use it next. You've got an up down raise lower switch here. It is keyed so somebody can't just walk right up and, and press a button and get it put on their truck really quick. It's going to take a little bit more effort for them to try and steal your trailer, which is kind of the point there. So as we work our way around here, we'll go over some of the specs of this actual trailer. It's actually a 26 on the floor foot trailer. This dual door setup it has been so incredibly popular. We do it on our Cimarron's and our Logan's, and we have trouble actually keeping these ones in stock. I think a lot of people really like the flexibility it allows. If you've got multiple people tacking out of the same trailer, it's really easy to throw your friends on one side, you on the other side, and you're not crossing each other's paths trying to get, get horses saddled up. Makes for a lot more efficient process. Also gives you all of this interior area here. 
<coughs> for a lot of additional storage. So this is a five foot short wall we have on this trailer, 26 on the floor, that gives you 21 feet on the head side. Room to haul lots of horses. And then we've actually equipped this with two swing out saddle racks, two man doors, and each of them is four tier. You've also got four tier blanket bars on each door as well as brush boxes. Another thing we added to this trailer here was this nice boot box. We find that <coughs> it's not much, but people really love these boot boxes for storage. There's just so much stuff that you acquire as, as a horse owner that, that it's better to be prepared than underprepared prepared if you're going somewhere. This is a great place to kind of hide all your junk, a nice place to sit down if you're getting ready. So these boot boxes are something that we really like throwing on these size trailers. With that longer wall in the tack room there, it gives us a nice amount of space to use this boot box without cutting into kind of the space you need to get that saddle rack in and out. Up in the nose here, you'll see we've got a clothes rod up above, as well as we've got many lights in this gooseneck. They're LED, they're on these their own switches as well as individual switches. So if you want to control your lights a little bit better, you've got a light switch at each door and then each switch it, or light itself has its own switch. Really, really handy and usable there. Down in that corner, we've got a 35 gallon water tank. So Logan's water tanks fit really well um, with their angles there. They tuck back nicely so you don't have to worry about them being in the way. That's barely a, any space they take up. <coughs> and if you're going into the mountains or somewhere with this trailer, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of access to clean, fresh water for your horses. So having an onboard water tank is just a really nice feature. You don't have to worry about filling up a bunch of jugs and throwing them in the back of your truck. It's right here, easy to use. Up on this wall here, we've got tons of bridle hooks. We carpet behind our bridle hooks, that way if your bits are swinging back and forth, number one, it's going to keep them a lot nicer. Um, we spend a lot of money on our head stalls and bridles, so we don't need them clanging against the metal here. And then right on the other side of this wall is actually your horses. So one of the things we really aim for on these trailers is to make it a comfortable, safe experience for your horses that you're pulling. Um, they trust us to throw them in these, these metal boxes that we've got, so we want to make sure that, that their trust is not misplaced. So if we can keep it a little quieter for them on the other side of this wall, why wouldn't we? So carpeting behind the bridle hooks is a must have on this. On the floor here, you've got this nice big carpet. What I like about this carpet is a lot of people trash their floors on their horse trailers. Um, it's really easy. This piece actually will pull all the way out and you can just run it out onto the pavement, hose it down, let it dry and put it back in. If you ever wanted to, you could always upgrade to rubber mats on your floor as well. And those are really easy to clean, <clears throat> but they don't move quite as easily as these do. So we're going to circle around to the stock area now. A couple more details on the height of this one. This one is seven tall and seven three wide. <clears throat> Your exterior, those front sheets there, they're a dark gray non-metallic sheet. And one of the things we like about these Logans is a lot of these Logans, you can actually do a different color, sheet color, without an upcharge. So there's only very select colors that will have that upcharge on, on cost for the sheets. So if you want it to dress up, maybe match your truck. These dark grays, metal, or dark grays, blacks, um, they look really well, or they look really good on these stock combos. So we've been doing a lot of them like that, but if you just want a plain white one, um, we've also got those options. Another upgrade you see on this trailer um, is actually those plexiglass slats there. Every single Logan stock combo comes with the tracks so that if you decide to go and add that plexi after the fact, it's really easy um, to just go ahead and unscrew this last panel here. You can slide them in. However, on certain trailers, especially ones that are dressed up a little bit like this one, we like to go ahead and just start off with it with plexi in them. If you need to, you can take those out just as easy as you put them in. Um, I always recommend labeling which gap, because even though they're custom cut to fit, 
Um, sometimes they're just a little bit different, so it's nice to know which air gap they go to, and you don't have to go and fight through a whole day of puzzle making to get them all back in uh, if winter comes around. On this exterior here, you'll notice that it changes from those 050 dark gray non-metallic sheets to this extrusion. This is one of my favorite features of our Logan stock combos. Their horse trailers, um, they'll do on their bullseyes, they'll do a corrugated side sheet, and this extrusion is just a lot stronger. I know a lot of people will put a lot of um, animals in here that are maybe not broke, maybe not too kind on these trailers, and these Logans, they will take a beating. So if you've got some, some more uh, wild animals you need to put in here, um, we have a lot of transporters that use this for, for hauling Mustangs from those sales to their new homes. And I'm sure that they're not very kind to those trailers, yet they hold up really, really well. So this exterior is going to look a lot nicer for years and years to come. It's really easy to clean up, keep it looking nice. It's something we like here at TransWest. Underneath this trailer, um, we upgraded these, these wheels and tires. They're aluminum wheels with the G-rated tires. So felt like you have probably got the opportunity to throw a lot of head in this trailer. <clears throat> Not a bad idea to have some good, good running gear underneath. This trailer's running on two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. So you've got plenty of axle underneath this trailer as well. <clears throat> as we work our way back around this trailer here, a couple different options for doors. On this one, we opted for the 50-50 door split here. You can do a single gate. You can do a single gate with slider. You can do a slam gate. So there's, there's lots of options for your Logans, especially once you get into these Logan stop combos. You can kind of customize them a little bit more. These 50-50 gates seem to be pretty popular for people that are loading horses in and out. You can just open one, one door here if you've got well-broke horses jump them in and out and not have to worry about a big door swinging back and forth um, if you're in somewhere that's a little windier. In the actual stall area here, um, we've got this really cool floor system. This is something that will bring people back uh, time and time again for a Logan trailer. Uh, it's, it's their Sure Grip whiz proof flooring. <coughs> so the Sure Grip is similar to a Polylast that you'll see, but Logan's actually designed their trailers to have a draining floor. So what we see a lot of brands doing is they'll take their aluminum floor and then they'll just drill a whole bunch of holes in these trailers. We don't really like drilling holes <laughs> in our trailer floors, especially if they weren't intended that to, to operate like that. As you know, aluminum has issues with urine if, if the urine sits on it. So we don't wanna have to worry about corrosion of the floor. So Logan's actually gone in and designed this floor with gaps for draining, and then they coat the aluminum in this Vortex lining. So if you're ever curious about it, we have a, a little floor cut out um, in our office that we can always show you guys. You can see kind of the guts of how this floor is composed, but it drains out really, really fast. Um, Logan did some studies where they found that it actually takes some of the micro vibrations out of um, the trailer. So when animals are traveling down the road, feel a little more secure, they're not getting quite as much vibration up from the floor. And then a lot of people like it because most of the time, if you don't want to, you don't have to ride with shavings here. So horses with breathing problems, um, all that dust that's swirling around in these trailers, you can keep it a little bit cleaner um, without having to worry about those shavings. And then when you go to clean this trailer out, really, really easy. That air coming up from the floor will actually help some of the manure dry out so that um, it's really easy to pick this trailer out when you're done. Any urine will just drain right through. And then we've got that nice escape door up front. You can just walk a power washer through it and clean this out. So, you know, this floor takes a little bit of maintenance, but I'd say overall it's so much easier to use than rubber mats. We have mat pullers here for those trailers that do have rubber mats, but I would take this type of floor over a rubber mat floor any day of the week. Um, <clears throat> People are sometimes worried about the longevity of this style floor. I've seen a lot of older Logans come in with it, and um, you know, even heavy pars tend to do pretty well on this floor. 
Uh, if, if you ever have an issue, they can actually send you a patch kit. Um, if you ever get a horse that just really goes to work on it with some shoes or something like that. So in this actual trailer here, stall area, you've got LED lights. Once again, big switch on the back as well as individual switches. So you can see what you're doing, loading them up at night. It's Vortex lining. I told you guys we carry it into the stall area here. Um, if you've got a horse that really likes to kick, you're not going to probably see it on the outside here. There's a lot of construction behind that trailer. Um, and those extruded aluminum sheets are not going to allow a lot of things to show through. So even if you've got a horse that's a little rough on the inside, on the outside, nobody's ever going to be able to tell. Tie rails on each side of this trailer, running all the way from the front to the back on this side, and then all the way from your escape gate over. <coughs> so you can tie your horses all along this here. Plexi on the head side as well. Same as, same as the hip side, you've just got bolts that you need to undo if you want to take it in and out. Really easy to change things up, even on a trip. Your gate right here will swing over so that you can have two compartments. Really easy to latch into place. Nice heavy duty center gate here. We did it on an angle. Um, it seems like a lot of people that are hauling horses, they like having that extra room in the tack. They like hauling their horses on a slant, so you've got the ability to kind of separate things up. Um, if you're not hauling as many head and you want to throw storage in the front or back compartment, that makes it really easy to use as well. So really great use of the stall area back here. So we work our way around the other side. <coughs> You'll notice these awning lights carry around all sides here. So one of the exterior switches will control lights that are on each side of this trailer here. So if you're tacking up on either side, you're going to have light as long as you've got your battery on or you're hooked up to your truck. Tie rings on each side of the trailer here. So you've got lots of places to tie those horses. If you've got some grumpy ones that you need to put a little more distance between them, you've got plenty of options to choose from. And then that escape door here allows you to sneak in and out um, if you've got storage up front and horses in the back this is going to be a really way easy way for you to just go ahead and access that without having to unload a bunch of horses first brings us over <coughs> to our other side here I mentioned this is the dual doors with dual swing out saddle racks so that's kind of what it looks like when these are swung in. We optioned this one with some nice steps um, so you can get in and out of the gooseneck easily. They do fold right up and latch, latch into place as you're driving. So if you're not wanting to have the step down, you can just hop in and out um, with the running board. That just makes it a little easier to get in and out of this trailer. And then I mentioned earlier the four tier blanket bars on the door with the brush box. Just each side has, has a lot of usability to it. Um, you're not going to have somebody worried about a favorite side to tack out of because that one has blanket bars and that one doesn't. We've done it the same on each side. So really, really nice little use of space here. So if anybody's looking for a stock combo, you like this setup, maybe you need something with a straight wall. We've got a lot on order or we might have it sitting here. If you guys have any questions on this trailer in particular, you can let us know the stock number. It's 5N221648. It is a 2023 Logan Coach stock combo, 26 foot on the floor. If you guys have any questions, I would love to answer them. My name is Callie Say. A good way to reach me is my cell phone. That's 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help them. Thanks for taking a tour with us today. I hope everybody has a really great day.